In this video, we look at the Lassonde curve, a well-known model showing the typical development of a mining company's market value over its life cycle, and show roughly where the larger cap TSXV gold companies could be placed on the curve. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor, and this video is intended for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. The past performances of the stocks mentioned are not indicative of future results, and the information included is based on publicly available sources and consensus estimates that may or may not be reliable. Canadian Mining Report management or employees may have positions in or marketing relationships with the companies mentioned. The Lassonde curve shows the market value of a mining company on the y-axis and its development phases on the x-axis, from the earliest stages of exploration from the concept and pre-discovery when it's at its lowest value, through to the discovery stage when the first strong drill results start to come out, which drives a major run-up in the market value as it starts to look like there's a viable deposit and the market gets very bullish on the possible upside. But then there's typically a pullback in the market value as the long process of determining the real economics of the project begins, often leading up to the early development phase, as this tends to be less exciting to the market and it enters what's referred to as the orphan period, where early speculators may be exiting looking for the next big thing and longer term providers of capital haven't entered yet. But eventually there's a point when many of the development hurdles have been surmounted and the project looks increasingly like it's actually going to become a mine, and the market value again starts to rise as it moves closer to production, and its peak value is reached around the time of its highest production levels. Then as the mine is eventually depleted, its value begins to decline again. So here we're going to place the largest TSXV gold companies on the curve, and we include only the discovery to the startup phase as none of the companies are in earlier or later phases. Another short disclaimer here as we do this, by placing these companies on the curve, we're not making a comment on how we believe their value will shift over time. We could have just as well put them on a horizontal line across the chart, but for aesthetic purposes and to follow the curve, we have placed them on the ups and downs of the curve. So if we place a company here or here, at low value, we are not suggesting that their value is at a trough and going to pick up, or here and here that their value has peaked for now and may decline. So actually going ahead and placing the TSXV Gold Juniors on the curve here. First we have Prime Mining and Arizona Metals with the Los Reyes and K Mine projects, which are still in the relatively early phase of strong drilling results from mainly over the past year or so. Then there's SK Mining and Newfound Gold, which are in the same phase but a bit more advanced, having reported drill results from their Queensway and SK VMS projects for two or three years, but not having released an initial mineral resource estimate yet. Then there's Rupert Resources and Tudor Gold with the Akari and Treaty Creek projects which are at a more advanced phase as they have already released their initial mineral resource estimates. Then Probe and Bluestone operating the Val d'Or East and Cerro Blanco projects which are at an even more advanced phase as they have released a preliminary economic assessment and feasibility study respectively for their projects. Moving on to the later stages of the Lassonde curve, we have Artemis, which already has a feasibility study and targets production by second quarter 2024, and Osisco Development, which expects a feasibility study for its Caribou project soon, which targets production by fourth quarter 2023, while Orzone is just about to begin production at Bombare, with first gold targeted by third quarter 2022, and Minera Alamos has already entered production for its Santana project. Leave any comments you have on the video below and visit our website www.canadianminingreport.com for more on the TSXV Junior Gold Miners including our product the Top 50 TSXV Metal Miners, weekly updates and longer form industry reports.